All right, welcome back, guys, to the next episode of Dungeons of Dreadmore. Uh, unfortunately, Avak fell last episode. Completely not my fault. Um, me and Avak both agreed that it was actually Blank the Mustache's fault. So, unfortunately, Blank, you've uh, you had to be let go. Yeah, as fantastic as that mustache was. But today will be a new player. And he just wanted his name in it, so I'm going to pick the skills. Now, what I really wanted to try, and I'm so upset that I didn't download this DLC, I, I guess it's considered, before I started this LP. Um, as some of you may not know, I am actually a geology major. And the fact that I did not get McJester as a battle geologist, it really makes me kind of stand makes me kind of sad so we're gonna definitely do battle geology and I did like tinkering it was very helpful last time so we're gonna pick that uh, let's see now battle geologist I will assume is magic so let us do laywalker uh, maces seemed to do us pretty well last time so we'll hmm, do maces or no, maces. Uh, let's do Viking Wizardry. From what I gathered, that increases your attack damage, so that'll be nice. Hmm, we got two more. Let's definitely do Wear Diggle just as a backup. And we'll do Magic Training. There we go. Is a battle geologist who tinkers part time, you know. Uh, he's a lay walker. He likes to bash things away with maces. Actually, you know what? No. Axes and Vikings. There we go. That's better. We have to make it at least semi-believable. Uh, Wear Diggle and Magic Training. It's a Viking Shaman, I guess. So, let us start. Now, the person we will be taking through is Boozlebub. And I'm assuming Boozlebub's a dude. I, I hope I'm right, and if not, I apologize, Boozlebub. Or Steve, I believe, is the one who uh, requested it. So let's go ahead and start our third adventure. See if we can get him below the first floor this time. There we go. We've discovered the Mecha Mechanistic Confessionals of Plithis. Alright, nothing too dangerous here yet. We did get a uh, traffic cone first up. That's always good. And pear wine. All right. Well, I mean, with a name like Booze, Boozlebub, he must enjoy good liquor. So we'll definitely make sure to keep him in stock. Now, let's see what abilities we have. We have Power of Magic Steel. Thunder and Storm with the Triumph of Your Magic Steel. The spell... Whoa, hello. The spell grants your attacks the power of lightning and your defense against the same. Okay, that's not bad. Then the Wear Diggle form. And Plutonic Fist. You can at will transform the hand slash noodly appendage of a creature, including yourself, if thus inclined, into stone, such as that cured deep in the earth's earthy heart. Melee power is improved at the cost of combat skill and finesse. His smart like hit smart like rock. Hey, 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 hey. Rocks are very intelligent. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, let's go ahead. What what weapon do we have? Whoa. Oh, what do we got here? Power cylinder, a ruby, modular alchemy, disposable ingot, and a tinker parts. Can we make anything? Have ingredients? No. Alright, well, we can't make anything right now. And what? Do we have our axe equipped? Yes, we do. We have a crude stone axe. Alright, so now we have magic steel equipped. Actually, let's deactivate that until we need it. Alright. Alright. Ow. I haven't played in a few days. Wait. Okay, I'm safe. So I forgot completely the fact that you don't want to run into just random things. Make a wish, pull the lever. Alright, didn't do anything. I still don't know what this stuff is. And I really wish I did. Alright, alchemy supply. Nothing too much here. Uh, we don't have any lockpicks, so we're going to just have to bash the door down. Please. 
God. Okay. B. Arthur. Um. All right. Let us activate our spell. Wait for it to get close. Holy crap, that is a big axe. Yeah. Ooh, the word of mafapulation. This crudely crafted caricature of an iron mace was ruggedly wrought from raw iron. It is studded with narwhal ivory. Indeed. Ah, oh, I didn't pick arch archaeology. Shame. Alright, get some pilsner. Doesn't feel right unless we got a pilsner. Mm, stony wand, not to be confused with the rock wand. This looks like someone snapped off a stalactite and turned it into a wand. Hmm. Cool. All right. Uh, wand of bling. The power of bling is not a power to be taken lightly. I would completely agree with you, sir. This check. Eh, yeah, go ahead, bash it. And we got the prince. Hell yeah. All right. I kind of want to see what this stony wand does. Oh my. Does that rock go away? Uh, if not, I think we maybe... Okay. Let's cancel that. We keep our mana. Unless we're using it. Best to keep it deactivated. Ooh, bony axe. Requires dire empowerment, a bone club, and steel ingot. And uh, we got none of that for right now, so... Hey, buddy. Hey, little blob, buddy. There we go. Bam. Okay. Ow. Did not see. Oh, wow. Already leveled up. Damn. Good job, Boozlebub. All right. Let's see. What do we want to upgrade here? Viking Strike. Uh, join the Church of Odin. See? Vikings. Axemen. It's a good combo. Learn to hate. With this skill, you have a chance to form the Viking Strike in melee combat. All right. Skath Skag thighs Roots. I probably pronounced that horribly. These uh, summoned roots stop your foes dead in their tracks. Also with the crushing of the throat and all that. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, license to cast. Okay. Leyline. We already know that one. Mechanator. Oh! Wait. Notoriously unreliable dwarven panini presses. Okay. Well, we'll take a look at that in a second. And then the Diggle Plague. And Stone Secret. The, your true knowledge of secret that rocks whisper provides you with a stony coating which most, but not all, rocks possess naturally. Yeah. Probably stuff like schists don't hold it. Schists are very platey, if you will. Alright, let's... Ooh, no, nay. Nay, nay. Pick up the apple. Buy to me coal and the softball. Oh. Alright. Yeah, go ahead, bash it open. Man, I tell you what, an axe is the best way. And now, wow, we are getting a lot of wands in this. We have an icy wand, the wand of bling, and a stony wand. And then we have this guy, who isn't really a wand, but he's kind of cool. Right, that's a food vendor. We're doing pretty good with health right now, so I'm not going to bother with that. Being cautious again, so I don't freaking run into any traps. And now we got some bauxite. Well, bauxite is in fact a... Well, no way. Bauxite is... Hello. Did you just die? What's going on over there? Oh, okay. Activate that. Bam. That's right. Don't mess with me. Wait, what? Did I pick an ability? What did I pick? What? What? What did I pick? I apparently picked nothing. Hold on. Shows you how long my, um... Oh, wow, I really... Did I pick a ability? Oh, I did. Okay, I picked the stone secret. Oh, okay, it's automatic. I, I thought it was a spell you had to cast. All right. All right, we got evil magic potato. Hey, buddy. I don't think... Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, hold on. Let's let's eat some cheese. Let's digest it. Let's just stay calm. I'm not gonna let Boozlebub go out like this. Just okay. Nay, can't deactivate that. Okay, we're gonna just. There we go. You know what? Let us get some food. High spoke too soon back here. Okay, we have 55. Let's get some loot fish. 37. All right, and a plum. Okay. 
Now let's try this again. This time with less of the dying. Okay, and there's a sickly diggle. Activate it. And kill him. Booyah. There we go. That is what I... Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that? Siegfried. Trapped in Diggle form, he wanders the dungeons looking for revenge. This monster has not yet noticed you. Oh, well, fuzzles. My therapist said this will be good for me. Uh, yeah, thanks. All right, let's activate. All right. All right. Ten more health. We should be able to take him out. Oof. Was not expecting a named creature to pop up behind me when I walked in here. That was just a little bit scary. We got a stone bolt. We don't have any crossbows yet. Do I have? No, I have no crossbows. But we can make a maple leaf shield. Really? Oh, that is fabulous. Hold on. Let me see something. Crafting. Uh, crafting. Okay. Right, hold on. Secret recipes. We need a wooden shield. A toque of... Canada, with a K, and a maple shield. Though most of the nourishing sap has been drained, the little that remains imbues this wooden shield with surprising strength. That is fabulous. My nickname in, in the lab is actually Canada, so it, it works perfectly. I need to get it. Alright, that looks like it's a little gate. That's kind of cool. Alright. Come on, Boozlebub, let's head through this door. Ooh. Ow, what hit me? Something, something hit me. That was painful. All right, crude iron axe. Let's let's see what our axe does right now. It does two. It's actually a worse weapon. At least I think it is. What is that lower? That minus two to enemy dodge reduction. Enemy dodge reduction affects how likely an enemy is not. Is to not dodge your wait. Is to not dodge your attack, because heroes never miss, but sometimes their attacks are dodged. So the hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that's the higher you, that number is, the better, or the lower that number is, the better. I right, got green armor. Such armor may save you even. Well, we don't have the money anyways. That's pointless to even look at. All right. Well, we don't really have anything, but what we do have, we can sell to him. So let's sell that. Um, I'm not wasn't really fan big of the stony wand. Haven't tried either of these, so I'll hold off on that for now. All right. Thank you, Brax. I've actually never read what that says. A villainous sales demon with a terrible checkered suit. He will sell you the equipment that you need for your quest, but he does not take the shoplifters. This monster is trying to kill you. Oh, he's not. Unless by kill me it means takes all my money, then yes, yes, he is trying to kill me. But, let us head this way. All right, we're going to try and clear out this side of the dungeon first. Oh, no, we are not dealing with those enraged diggles. I'll tell you that right now. Alright, what do we got here? If... Yeah, sure. Holy, got it. Actually, one of the greatest things about recording, I don't need to write that down. Because I doubt we're going to find what that is used for in this level. I have found it once, in one playthrough. And, and unfortunately, I had never found something to actually you know, like travel with it, so... Eh, we'll see later if we get it. Anything in here? I don't see anything, but I don't trust that lever. Ah, hey, I saw something. No? I don't know. Alright, alright, everything... Uh, just a diggle. Okay, that's not too bad. I actually don't even need the spell. Kill the Diggle in one shot. Holy crap. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Did not realize. Let's take the pear wine. Did not realize I still had my Power of Magic Steel equipped. Or active, I should say. Gnarled Club. Alright, nothing so far. Bolt Classic. Bolt Wow. Bolt of Doubt. It pierces the soul itself. That's pretty high ranking. Ha! Saw you, shoddy dwarf IED. Ooh, Malachite. Boop. 
there something sparkling? Ooh, there was. What is it? Grungier. Apart from its better known toughening effects, this fungus may cause an appreciation for flannel. Oh, well, that's interesting. I've never been a big fan of flannel, to be honest. I love denim. Born in the 90s, raised in the 90s, it's... Alright, let's activate this. Denim, uh, denim was very common. Alright, take him out. The Amazonian Bumble person out. Uh, what is that? Terrifying Phantasmal Reaper with a menacing scythe. This monster is trying to kill you. Alright. I have a bad feeling. Alright, well, let's see how we do. Oh, wow. And out. And that bat is just chilling there. Oh, it's peaceful. And they, it's not attacking you at this moment. Okay, cool. Well, I will let you go about you. Ow, you are attacking me, you little son of a bitch. Wait. You know what? I'm just going to kill you anyways. Just in case I don't want to run the risk. And then kill the baddie. Hey, hey, hey. I said kill the baddie. Thank you. Deactivate that. Let us gain some mana back up. Um, I'm assuming... F oh, it's a gem. Oh, okay, cool. Got some sewer beer. Ooh, what the hell is that? Monster computer. A monster computer, it is engraved with some kind of fruit. Hmm. There's nothing over there. Let's just break this down. Oh! Unfriendly AI. This, show, this shows the tangible threat of the unfriendly AI problem. This monster is trying to kill you. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's activate our spell. Alright, we're doing okay. One more attack, please. Yes! Holy crap, I'm running into a lot of different things today. And yeah, let's eat the plum. Alright, there we go. Got our health back a little bit. Pick that up. Can we activate this? No, we can't. Can we pick it? Alright, so it's technically that is just that. It gives it this gives that a reason for being here. Alright. Oh. Alright, it's the end here. Hmm. The unfriendly AI collapses in a pile of barf. Who's barf? It's an AI. It shouldn't have barfing abilities. Ooh. Um, hi. Oh no. I'm just gonna come up here. One at a time, I think, is good. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your time and consideration. Alright, let's not go over there until we've regained our abilities. Or regained our health, I should say. Oh, let's get rid of the magic first. Alright. There we go. Alright. You don't really want to walk into an unknown area with... Oh, lobster main fungus again. Okay. You don't want to walk into a room that you don't know what's in there with poison. That's that equals to a bad time. So we're not going to do that if we can help it. Uh, okay, and there was nothing else in here. And I'm not opening that or the Diggle Cave. There's no way in hell I'm touching that Diggle, that Diggle door. All right, let's. All right, so we're here. So can we go down? Okay, we can't go down. Alright, going up. Alright, cool, we can go this way. Looks like we have a sickly diggle. Oh, minimize this a little bit so we can see a little better. Don't see anything else. You know, this is... I was just talking about not walking into a place you can't see with poison. Let's wait a few turns and get that poison out of there. Alright, cool. Now, should... Alright, well, there was nothing here, but better safe than sorry. I want Boozlebub, if nothing else, to get two episodes. I feel it's only fair that everybody at least gets two episodes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Activate. Crack him. 
There we go. Meddling kid. Good job. Good job, Boozlebub. That's two levels in one episode. All right, let's... Uh, we haven't actually used the Diggle ability yet. So I think I'll hold... Where Diggle's a London. Power up the Where Diggle form with increased damage resistance. Big dish of beef chow mein, not included. Oh god, Werewolves of London. One of my favorite songs in a travesty that Kid Rock killed a few years ago with something of summer. <laughs> but, let us learn... Uh, we're actually doing... Okay, let's do that, because we're not learning... Somebody told me that tinkering and leveling up your tinkering will make it so you can dismantle traps better. So let's see if that actually works. Oh, ooh, ooh, almost touched that. Alright, nay. Alright, well, it still doesn't look like it is proved. Maybe I'm just not. Maybe I just misunderstood. Is there anything this way? Alright, nothing here. It was just a dead-end diggle cave. But we will take their diggle eggs. Boozlebub is a good big fan of diggle eggs. They're, you know, high in fiber. I guess. I don't know. Are eggs high in fiber? I don't like eggs. Take care of the sickly diggle. No. Kill the sickly diggle. Thank you. Mm. Alright. Well, I won't drink these this episode, but hey, Steve, Boozlebub, you want me to drink it? Tell me to drink it. I'll drink it. Until then, though, I'll leave it till the very end. Oh. Oh, this is where we started. Okay, we've cleared out that whole left side. That's that's good. Now let us... Alright, just a blobby so far. Not too bad. Don't really need any abilities. Fear my martial prowess. Yeah, buddy. I got bad news for you. You really aren't that... I see you, Raven. Get out of here. Hmm. All right, got a, got a barbecue, got some loot fish, aged blue cheese, a pickpocket, and some pilsner, and another fountain. If you so want me to, uh, to drink it. Nay. Oh, oh, that's right. I can put. Um, can I, can I cook loot fish? I cannot cook loot fish. Okay, I think I need steak. Which I don't have, so... Nay. Oh, I think I don't think my cunning is high enough for my traps to really be very effective. Which is a shame now that I think about it. I should have probably thought that through. I got a rusty metal... Bray... Um... Alright, it doesn't decrease anything, so... We'll keep that equipped, because it definitely doesn't hurt me to carry it. Whoa, eyeball shrine. Haven't seen that before. All right, well, softball. Uh, ingeniously scythed iron bolt and a wooden sword. Don't want to touch that lever. I don't know what the eyeball shrine does. If somebody knows, I'd love to hear about it before I, I pull the lever or touch it or do anything involving it. I don't like how it looks. Like, some of this stuff you can kind of go, okay, I should be somewhat safe in touching it. Other things you, you look at and go, that's just bad for me. Um, no. I'm going to go sell some stuff, because I'm getting a lot of stuff I can't use, or like a wooden sword. I really don't need a wooden sword. So, I'm going to come over here. Yeah, or the gnarled staff. Cruelly, don't need it, don't need it, don't need it, don't need it. Let's sort. I could have sworn I sold that already. We'll keep that because, goddamn, that's a that's a high level item. But other than that, I think we are. Holy crap! How many of these do I have? Three. All right. Well, they're not taking up space, and I don't have a weight limit, so no harm in just keeping them. Bam. Okay. All right. We're doing pretty good. Let's head back this way and explore a little bit more of that room. That'll probably... Exploring this room completely will probably be the last thing we do today. 
Other than walk around the creepy skulls, I did try to walk through them. It doesn't allow it. Grated cheese. Uber chest. Still no idea what an Uber chest does. Alright, let's use that. Hopefully take him out. Nope, I was hoping we could take him out at one shot, but it did not work out that way. Greedy Blung Cape. Pilsner. Deactivate that. It is nice that I can deactivate some stuff. Hematite. Hematite is a mineral, not a rock. Like that. Nay. Nay, nay. We shall not, but we will not walk through it either. Another traffic cone. Aha! There is a bee person down there. Activate our ability. And, oh no, you're not dead. Thank you. Ooh, adventuring gloves? Sweet. Now you just need, what, pants, boots, and a belt? But, hey, otherwise, you've got a robe and gloves. That counts for something, right? Take him out. Take some Bree cheese. Bronze. Ooh, Bronze Bolt? Eh, I mean, that's an okay rank. Alright, what do we got here? The Narwhan. Tempered in the cold waters of the Northern Ocean, the Narwhan channels the fury of the skies of Hyporia. Oof. All right, we're gonna have to try that at least once. Aha! Now this, I do know, if you come over here to the stake thing, you drop an item in it, and... I believe we got a grilled steak. Increases our health regeneration a little bit more than a regular steak. Odious puffball, more loot fish. We got some tin and some plastic, and crush him. All right, I think we've explored everything in this. Oh, wait. Before we go, we have Gaga's Glaze. Coat your armor with delicious meat, preventing the nasty monsters from biting down into the more important meats. Recognizing, of course, that Sturbake did it first, of course. And you need every type of steak. Grilled steak, aged steak, steak, and fresh steak. And then the Dwarven Ingot Press. And then we have the Overclockworked Power Limb. Ooh. I kind of like that idea. Having a being a mecha geologist would be kind of cool. But guys, this is the first episode of Boozle Bub, and I hope the first of many. Maybe you're going to be my lucky number three Boozle. But until then, guys, safe travels. Now that I think about it, sorry, I said safe travels. But we're, we're leaving off in the resting place of deaths. Hmm. Yeah. Later, guys.